Yeah, it's your boy Fist in his house, bringing another great edition. Black Ops on YouTube for you, because hey, that's what I do. And I'm bringing a two-part series on how to deal with campers. Now, this first part is going to show you the specific setup that you need, because now school is out. Okay, it's June 9th. Everybody's out of school. So I've been, I mean, I haven't played for a while, and um, I had a couple problems. The first problems were, you know, uh, router and uh, Ethernet cables. If you're having problems with your connection, let's say you're only two bar in it, three bar in it sometimes, a lot of times people would go through all these situations where they'll replace the router, have their cable guy come out there, and it's such an easy fix. The easy fix is, is just to replace the Ethernet cord sometimes that cord is the answer to all your problems so that's my little hint of info to you when you come to my page I always drop some knowledge on you how to make your game better and um, so this specifically is geared towards how the scene has changed and I had predicted this in my videos on machinima I told you it was gonna be just ghost and you know just a bunch of camping and it's just infestedly rampant and, you know and, and to be honest with you I was running around with um, I was running around with ghost and um, like marathon or ninja and see you gotta have a couple combinations to deal with this infestation of you know overpowered perks on these games now I always run solo so I can truly define myself as how good I am. I always go like mercenary team death match and I just want to like see what is the worst situation and how to deal with it because you will always find like the up and coming problems and sometimes it's a solution that a lot of people cannot solve. You know, it's you know, it's problem solving. And uh, in these two videos I'm going to show you how to do that. You know, in my other videos in the future, or in the past, I had showed you, you know, how to set things up. And now it's coming in fruition, you know. These things are all up to light now where you have to run the, you have to have these kit setups to deal with this type of infestation. So a lot of people will run, you know, you'll have a, you'll have a lot of people who camp. That's just their whole game. It's just, it's so irritating because Ghost is such an over, it's, basically stopping power in the first tier perk and it's just overpowered so everybody runs ghost and like I'm gonna tell you how to set up your streaks set up your um, all your other stuff you know different combinations sometimes you have to change combinations in order to deal with this situation now every map is different you know with uh, you know um, weapons that you will use now, cracked is like a weapon, like a map. You can use a shotgun with a silencer to deal with these type of um, infestations. So, let's get started. So, the first thing that you want to realize that people are always going to camp with ghosts and, um, you know, either some type of uh, c always use a claymore. So, the the main thing you want to do is, you, and they they'll either they'll use turrets too. They'll use turrets to counter your UAV, your counter UAV. So it's like it's it's a really grind. I mean, most people would just rage quit out of these games, but it's a really grind them out game. And to be honest with you, you know, I don't want to I don't want to rage quit. I want to like figure out the solution as to how to beat these people. That's what I want to do. So here I missed a grenade and it cost me. I mean, stuff like that really pissed me off, you know, because I knew the camper was in there, and, you know, it's it's better to have a bouncy grenade or a, a grenade you can cook, not the Simtex with you, just a regular frag grenade, and, you know, you can bounce it off the walls, learn how to bounce it and stuff. So you got these guys, they'll use ghosts, they'll use count, they'll use the turret, they will use, um, you know, hacker and uh, whatever it's setups they use, I don't know, like maybe ninja. But to, to counter this situation, and let's say you're, you you like Russian. See, now I knew that was a setup right there. I'm going to get back to this in a second. I knew that was a setup. That guy was sitting there for bait. See, look at that. I knew that guy was set. I knew you're not going to stick a turret out in the middle of the road and uh, set it up, you know, like that. And see, that's, that's the mentality of campers now. They'll literally just sit in a corner with a claymore and guard their position. 
And then once you start using the combination I'm going to tell you to use, they'll switch it back up to where they won't use any equipment because you'll see them with Hacker. So the thing I want to tell you is like, so you like to rush, you like to attack, you like to go solo like me. I mean, you can use this for a team situation as well. Get back. And um, what I'll do is I'll use Ghost, um, Sleight of Hand, and Jammer, and Hacker. Now, the great thing is, is that you'll notice that a lot of people, they'll give their position away by using equipment. And the great thing about a jammer is, is that you can pick up and move and keep using it. Whereas the people that you're going up against, they're not going to move out of their spot. So it's kind of like the, the jammer is like a rusher's best friend because you can pick it up and go with you to the next spot. And you really, there's no, there's no point in um, using the claymore because you're, you're a rusher. So you want to use the jammer with ghost and sleight of hand and a silence weapon. And then as soon as the game starts, you're going to see them start planting either sensors, claymores. And then like you go up there and you, you, you pl place the uh, jammer strategically somewhere. Then you can go and pick it up after you kill them and go and move on to the opposite side of the map where they usually will spawn and you just continuously keep trying to figure out where they're camping at I mean it's like you got to look at every corner because they're going to be there that's just I guess that's and I have like I said I already predicted that get killed by an Uzi from across the map what a fail man that's some bullshit that never happens to me so um so yeah you're going to have to, like, I could have laid a jammer right here. And look, this is set up. Like, Claymore back there. And then another, that's like a double setup right there. Look where this guy's camping at. Right here. See, that? Look, see that's the type of setups that you have to deal with continuously in this game. And I'll show you, like, I, I changed it up in the next game. We played. The, I played in the same room with these guys, and I changed it up a little bit. But I was using Hacker with Ghost and the jammer. And it just, like I said, you just go in and clean these dudes out. Teach them a lesson. And, like, if your score is below 1.0, obviously what you're doing is not working. So change your tactics. Stop playing the same way. I mean, it's embarrassing to yourself. I mean, why would you... Not only are you wasting your time, it's not even entertaining because you're getting your ass kicked. Then on top of that... You're wasting your time that you'll never get back in your life in a video game and you're camping. And I'm showing people how to bust your ass out. Right here. This is all the setup. You gotta have this setup. Now, if people switch, now they switch to where you know they start to catch on to what you're doing, then uh you wanna move to you you wanna have a class with ninja. Because they're just gonna sit there and wait for you to come by. And they're going to be checking like three or four entrances. And always come in the entrance that they're not going to expect. And you're always going to catch them off guard. Off guard. And I'm going to show you that in the next video where I, I switched it up. Uh, now, the streaks are very important. Now, I'm going to give you some tips on that as well. So, you're running this this camper busting kit. You know, with the... Um, now, you could do it two ways. You can run a uh, uh, flag jacket and whatever. Scout Pro and hacker you know and you can run into bombs or you can you can run uh, really it doesn't matter because if you have the jammer it's better to have the jammer and ghost because when you come up on them the 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 claymores are going to be disarmed and they're not going to know the difference and they're just going to sit there whereas if you just run right up there with you want grenades you want to run up there with your flak jacket and you boom and they hear you and you take a reel back I mean, it's just it's just better that way the way the way I explained with the uh, jammer and the and the hacker and the, and the ghost to, to bust these campers out of their spot. And what I'll do is um, I'm gonna go over the streaks in the next video, and it's gonna be right after this video. It's the next game after I play this game, but you can see how much you have to grind out. Like this game went the the time limit, and we still lost. Uh, and then I was like, you know what? All right, next game, I'm gonna get these guys, and I'm gonna set it up right. I'm, I need a little bit more. I need a faster weapon, a little more cheaper weapon to eliminate these guys a little bit faster. So uh, in the next video, 
stay tuned for the streaks because the streaks are important to set up this combination and I'm gonna tell you why in the next video it's your boy Fizz peace I hope you learned something because it is summer and you're gonna see a lot of this shit in gameplay I'm out